What is going on, everyone? We are, nope, not working on that Corvair, but rather, uh, working, of course, we already know, you probably saw the thumbnail. We are fixing this hood, and then I haven't fully decided if I am going to turn this into a cowl induction hood yet, um, but obviously we'll, well, you'll know by the thumbnail. I think I'm going to, though. Anyway, um, this hood came off the Corvair outside with the S10 frame, and this one, um, you might recognize it by the, uh, warping, um, this is the hood that my dad brought back from Ohio, and then we took it to be media blasted, and the guy, uh, got it too hot and warped it. You can see that in the reflection. So all the circles under there, um, are all warped. So this hood is junk. Uh, if you're wondering about the awful priming job, um, we just wanted to cover it to keep it from rusting, even though the hood is junk. So I had never primed. I'm um, using um, a gun, a priming or a painting gun before. So this was my uh, my test hood. Um, we didn't even really do a good job of cleaning it off. We were just in a rush. So anyway, that's why the hood looks like that. So you're probably wondering, Oliver, why do you have this hood here? Well, let me show you. This hood is going back on the Corvair outside. And unfortunately, the support, the... um under skin whatever it's called is really rusty you see that but the skin on here is really nice so what i'm thinking is this kink right here you can see how it kinked the hood here we're just going to basically skin it de-skin it if that's the proper term and uh cut the skin off from about here forward and then do the same over there and weld that on and then for the cowl induction hood we're probably going to go maybe here and here and build a cowl induction and i'll explain how to do all that it's really simple to do it's just really time consuming but yeah building a hood is a cowl induction hood is really simple uh it's going to serve no other purpose than it will look really cool and um, i guess heat will be able to escape So that's what's happening in this video, and hopefully by the end of this video, we can maybe even put the hood back on the car, which would be exciting. So, with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here you can see a much better uh, view of the carnage, and this is just um, years of neglect. And then this hood... Um, it's got a little surface rust, but other than that, I think we're just gonna basically just kind of cut it, I guess. I don't know, this hood is really junk. Like, I'm sorry, but see this? Every place, um, tin cans. It's hard to show, but trust me, this hood is junk, so don't get mad at me for destroying the hood. Get mad at the dude who destroyed it. Um, it's gonna take a lot of work, but it's definitely, we need to do this because your hood isn't supposed to do that. So, let's uh, let's get a cutting wheel. Actually, we need to mark it. From the edge of the hood to the damaged is 33 and a half inches. And I will be double checking that. And 10 and three quarters. All right, look at that. Yeah, it looks good enough to me. Alright, so now that we got this all cleaned up to the best that I could, I sanded it by hand. I did take the wire wheel and go in a few places. I just really didn't want to heat anything up. Um, it's getting late. I am getting pretty tired, so I'm going to be heading to bed here soon. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with this rust treatment. Um, there's the brand. I've used this a lot. This stuff works. You do, you do have to follow the instructions. 
So if you're gonna use this, follow the instructions, okay? All right, good. Uh, anyway, I've used it a lot on this card. But anyway, we're gonna spray this, let it dry overnight, and then some, and then we'll probably prime it with some weldable primer, and then um, move on to that stuff in the morning. Uh, yeah, because I'm tired. So anyway, let's uh, let's just paint this up. Okay, it is the next morning. Um, I sprayed some rust inhibitor stuff on that last night. Uh, let it dry throughout the morning. Uh, and then I, uh, I painted, uh, primed it with some waterable primer. And then over here, we marked it 33 and a half inches. Now we are going to cut it out. Uh, we have to be really careful because we don't want to damage this piece. And I don't care if we damage the skin because, again, the hood is junk. And then um, I don't even, I don't need this. So I'm going to have to remove this as well. Um, but, yeah, so I think we should just quick cut this out. We're going to have to cut it a little carefully, more careful. So we don't mess that up. So other than that, that is the plan. Big reveal. It's a little hot. Holy crap. My cut here is almost like perfect. Uh, nope, not quite. Not quite perfect. Like I said, I did give myself a little bit of extra working room. The hood isn't gonna fit perfect because it's kinked. The hood, the skin, it's kinked up. So I bet you if I bent that down, this would probably fit a lot nicer. You know, I don't have to technically butt weld this, you know? Do a butt weld. I could slide this like a quarter inch underneath the existing skin, you know? And kinda, and then overlap it. That would probably create a stronger connection as well Ooh, that might work holy smokes i was not expecting that it probably doesn't look very pretty on camera oh wow that looks great from over here sometimes sometimes my genius frightens me sometimes my genius is it's almost frightening anyway let's get to uh spot welding this in Okay, so we got this tacked in for the most part. I just wanna show you, I'm pretty proud of myself. Look at how well that is lined up. You cannot get any better than that. The way, oh, focus please. The way that this new skin lined up, that's amazing. And then you come over here and you're like, eh, what happened there? And to that I reply, I have no idea because it's all nice, nicely lined up right here. Um, so anyway, so we got that tacked in. Um, it's pretty rusty here, the old metal. So I'm basically going to get a really long piece of metal and basically just weld all of that and weld it to this front here because it'll be a lot easier to color match there. Um, so now that that is welded, we're going to flip it over and we're going to find the where we want to um, start making our cowl induction hood. Okay, so we got everything marked from center line over. It's exactly nine inches all the way up. Same here. Oh my God, I didn't even film myself cutting that. Uh, well, I'll tell you this, I didn't even cut through it. I just basically scored it. And then I only came down to about here because of how damaged this line is. I won't be able to, you see how my line started doing that? That'd be bad if I followed that. So I have this bendable ruler and we're gonna line it up there and then trace down. So that's how we're gonna do that. Um, and then I'll then I'll film myself cutting the rest of this. I can't believe I didn't do that. Wow. I mean, ugh, it's been a it's been a weird day.
So we cut through that. As you saw, I didn't just like hold it there. I kind of, in a way, sawed it back and forth. I'm pretty happy with how straight those lines are. Okay, I just grabbed a, a hoe, but oh my God, that looks so cool. It looks, it doesn't look like anything now, but oh my gosh. That looks so cool, holy crap. I was not expecting it to look that good. I think I might, oh wow, that was hot for some reason. I think I might cut just all the way down to basically this edge on both sides. Oh my God, that looks so good. Wow, I, okay, sorry, I'm just amazed with how well that worked. And then of course we are gonna deal with the underskin. Don't worry, this is all a work in progress. Um, <laughs> oh wow, okay, sorry, we just wasn't expecting that. Oh God, that's gonna look sick. All right, so once I finally calmed down, um, I did cut, end up cutting the front just to kinda help it out a little bit, and I think that did. Um, but anyway, my original plan was to basically cut um, the top skin and then re-weld it to here. But I don't think I'm going to do that anymore um, just because I don't think I need to. Um, it would be a lot more extra work and um, I just don't think I need to. And here's why. When I add the, the side walls here, right, um, I'm gonna add a bar basically back here to add rigidity in the back. So I just, I don't think I'm going to, and I'm completely okay with that. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, because I don't wanna cut back here, else the hood is literally gonna do that. I'm gonna leave this piece here and just cut here and then the rest of it out. Um, and then that way we can, um, we can really start uh, mocking up some sidewalls here. Hopefully I have enough metal because I'm going to continue cutting metal out of the Hilux. Um, wow, I am just amazed with how awesome this turned out. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. Alrighty, whoa, almost dropped my headphones. So I took the uh, bendable ruler here. I followed the contour. So this curve almost follows the contour of the circles. So, whoop, look at that. Who wants it? It's for, for sale. I don't know, part of the Corvair hood. Look at that. But here's the thing. Look at how flimsy it is. Who knew that by cutting out all the structural rigidity of the hood, there would be no structural rigidity left? <laughs> Not me. Anyway, I knew that was gonna happen, obviously. So, the next thing, what I really think we should do is get like tabs of metal, maybe just cut it out of there, and basically tack it here to hold this into place, find exactly where we want this, and then we need to immediately start welding this in so this doesn't shift too much. Um, so I think that's, uh, that's what we're gonna do. So now we got the hood flipped over, because um, there's, Again, no structure in the hood. It's really flimsy. So I had my mom come out here and help me flip the hood over. Um, so now, again, there's no structure. Um, we need to find how tall we want it. And then we are going to just weld in some, some temporary tabs uh, in the back because that's where it's most flimsy. Um, and then we can um, kind of start building our wall, um, sidewall. Um, I really want to basically weld it in like one solid chunk instead of piece by piece, like how we welded in the firewall. Um, so hopefully there's um, plenty of metal on the Toyota. So, um, okay, so let's find out how tall we really want this. All right, so now we are just uh, kind of finding what height I want. And so I have this um, handle to a, um, a jack out here and I, I won't be able to film this one handed, but from the jack to the edge, it's five and three fourths. And then you come over here and it is, it's hard to film one handed, five and three fourths. Just trust me, it's even, okay? So with that now, we can get a level, get a level measurement here and then a level measurement here. 
and basically just make that the same. I don't want it really high, you know, I don't want it like super aggressive, but just, you know, noticeable, but also somewhat subtle. So, um, and then you're probably wondering, well, what about right here? Because of the, um, the distance, right? That's gonna look funny. Well, let me show you. Dun, da, 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 we got another hood. And what's this hood have? The piece we need. So we're just gonna basically cut the piece out of here and weld it onto there and then color match it down the road. Um, so yeah, that's what we're, we're gonna do. So look at that, we got extra parts. Okay, so now we have one level here that's even and we have another level up here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to bend it down until the level bubbles are the same. Like so. Look at that. Except, if we just move this quick. So, now we just got these uh, metal tabs. Pretty simple, just cut them out of the hood support. Okay, so this side is one sixteenth of an inch taller than this side, um, which I'm completely okay with. So we have my cab here, and I've been wanting to try to sell this because it's just in really nice shape, even though I know I cut it weird, um, but no one wants it. I cannot sell it, so I'm going to take the glass out and sell it. But then I noticed that piece right there that is being held in with spot welds and it's like split perfectly in the middle so I can just cut it down the middle and have a perfectly good piece. So look at that. And that's gonna be the sides for the um, cowl induction. And so that's what we're gonna use. I mean, look at that, it's literally perfect. It's meant to be. This cannot be going any better. Okay, so we got that cut out. Next logical step would be to cut down the middle, you know? So I'm just kind of checking. Oh, that was cool. Okay, so now we are working with some CAD software, which is cardboard aided design. That looks so good, even with just cardboard there. We come over here. As you can see, I messed up marking it. I was gonna put it here, but it didn't fit. So we'll put it there. So we can just copy and trace it again. Look at that, this is going so smooth. So we'll mark that and then we'll cut it. Okay, so I got a little bit of an update for you. Um, I didn't want to film myself like tacking this in or kind of getting it uh, in there because it, it took a long time. Um, but we got it tacked in there for the most part that this hood is solid again. So now I'm gonna weld it from the inside, right? Like keep, keep welding here, but I need to start welding here because there's only a few tacks from the outside holding it on. It's looking good. I don't really want to flip it over, but. Oh, yes. What do you think, Lizzie? Don't you love it? I love it too. That looks so good. I wonder though if we can, okay. Yeah, we'll be able to wipe away the burn marks. That's not too concerning to me. Oh my God, that looks so good. <laughs> Okay, new day. We have one more thing that we need to do and then we can finally, that's a lie, we got two more things, but then we can put the hood on. We're gonna quick cut out this portion on this hood here. Um, and then we need to take apart the air conditioning system on that uh, car um, so we can put the hood on. But again, I'm gonna save that for the turbo video, which is Hopefully coming sooner than later. I'm just busy with stuff. Anyway, so let's get our measurements. I can tell you that from here, over nine inches here, over nine inches, and then we can weld it on. This amazing looking hood, 
which again is not done. So we're ready to go, measured an inch up. I don't need an inch, it's a half an inch that I need. But I just gave myself some extra room, and if it hangs off a little bit, I think that would look cool. So I just took this scribe here, and just uh, gave myself an inch of work. So now we're just gonna cut that quick, and we'll fit it up to that, and it should be perfect. Something like that. Ow. All right, and look at that. Other than it needed to be fully welded. Ooh, that looks really good, especially with a little bit of an overhang. I like that. The hood is done. Yes, finally. Actually, I can't even complain. It wasn't that bad of a job. Like I said, making a cowl induction hood is really easy. And check this out. There's no tin canning. I mean, down there, but yeah, up here where there's no structural support, there's no tin canning. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is take the AC system off um, because the hood won't fit with it on and I need to remove it to install the turbo. Okay, quick thing. This is for the cowl induction hood because I just got done filming part of the turbo video where I start removing um, air conditioning stuff. Uh, so remember that hump there? There we go. We just uh, put a piece of plastic there and went a little crazy with the pop rivets, but whatever, it holds. All right, here is before and here is after with the all new cowl induction hood. I, uh, all my excitement is gone because I had to take that hood off like a million times in order to cut stuff and get it fitting right. But it looks cool, so let's do an up close and I can show you everything that is not working the way it's supposed to. First off, fitment issues. Right here, for some reason it can't go down and I can't even see why. So I am having some fitment issues, but it's not because of what I did to the hood, it's just because of um, how metal likes to return to its original shape. And then if you come under here, you see the brake reservoir there. I had to cut around it. But other than that, that fits good. I, I can see that I have room on top yet. This kind of got in the way, but I moved that down. So there's still some custom work that needs to be done. Again, this is the first time that the hood has been on the car in <laughs> mid, since mid-September. Yeah, it's already been about a month since we've put the body on the frame. So, I'm going to call it for this video, and then I'm going to take the rest of the day uh, just welding, because I have to finish welding on hinge assembly, and then uh, finish welding up the, the hood there. Um, so I still have a lot of work ahead of me. I am absolutely in love with how this looks. Don't let my lack of excitement fool you. I'm very excited, it's just that I had to keep taking it on and off. If you guys liked this video, please leave it a like, leave it a comment, and uh, subscribe if you're new. I just want to say that I do read every comment, and if there is a question, I do answer every question. And that is probably my favorite part of the day, is reading the new comments. I'm not quite sure what the next one will probably be. Probably welding the dash back in, so I can get a window in there and stop covering it with tarps. Um, but that will be in the next video, and we will see you guys then.